Hi everyone, this is Steve Perillo. Welcome to Travel Show Live with Steve Perillo and my special guest this week is Pauline Frommer. Join us. From Studio 17H, this is Travel Show Live with Steve Perillo. Uh, hello everyone again. Uh, Pauline Frommer is going to be our, our travel expert of the week. She's the daughter of Arthur Frommer, one of the, uh, the legends of the travel industry. But first, as usual, we have our news of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, give you a reality check on what travel is really like today. I did four comparisons of traveling coast to coast from New York to LA, and this is amazing to comprehend. You can go the cheapest way, coast to coast, for $99 aboard a Greyhound bus in 60 hours. Imagine that, 60 short hours. And I'm sure you get a reclining seat. Right, guys? I hope so. Uh, JetBlue is the second cheapest, but if you want to get there fast, it's the best choice. Six hours, $120. Or you could take Amtrak, 62 wonderful hours on the train. You stop in Chicago, stretch your legs, and it's only $193. And amazingly, for our do-it-yourself culture, the most expensive way to travel coast to coast is to drive yourself. Isn't that something? $284 based on today's, uh, today's uh, uh, gas uh, costs. And how long does it take? It uh, really depends on how much you want to pamper yourself. <laughs> does anyone get that? Depends, pampers? Yeah, yeah. The next news ah, flash. Ah. <laughs> Dateline Venice, August 19th, a bird feed pusher. Yes, you heard right. This guy pushes bird feed, was caught undercover by undercover police in St. Mark's Square where he was dealing and bird feed to tourists in violation of a city ordinance. Police said the 35-year-old Sicilian had several kilos of feed stashed in his knapsack, and he had been offering it to tourists in exchange for, quote, a donation so that they could have their picture taken, this classic picture that we've all taken a bit to Venice. Uh, the man was fined, uh, fined and seven tourists were getting, given a written warning. The man report, reportedly told police that it's not like I am a dealing of drugs. It's just like a living, eh? But nevertheless, he got arrested. <laughs> the drive against pigeons is part of an overall campaign to improve general decorum of the city. This has included cracking down on tourists snacking or bare-chested people in historic piazzas. I guess the problem, it depends on the gender of the uh, bare-chested people, right? Again, it depends. It depends. <laughs> Dateline Turin. Right, Turin, these uh, bathing suits, you know, this is kind of like the, uh, the, the home of the, uh, the bikini, northern Italy. Now we bring you the burkini. The mayor of a northern Italian town decided Wednesday to slap a hefty fine on a woman wearing a burkini in local pools. Mayor Bonanno said he was concerned that the costume might pose hygienic problems. Now really. It looks like a swimsuit, right? I mean, how, is a swimsuit dirty in a pool? Uh, not a swimsuit, uh, uh, what do you call the uh, divers? The diving suits. Oh, yeah. It looks like a, a wetsuit, a wetsuit. Yeah. Uh, according to the mayor, we're always very respectful of the customs and habits of those who are not of our culture. But we mustn't always be tolerant, said the mayor, who's known as an anti-immigrant. If this decision upsets anyone, they can simply take a dip in a burkini in their own bathtub, said the mayor. Could you imagine? In France, a woman wearing a burkini was recently evicted from a pool outside Paris because officials said the outfit was unhygienic. Obviously, I disagree with this tremendously. And just to prove the point, here is our bathing suits. 1890, Coney Island. We were wearing the same thing, OK? All right, here's a trick for you Milan visitors. Milan's most upscale shopping center has been embellished with fiberglass models of the adorable Fiat 500C. That's a car, the little Fiat 500. They are serving as tree planters. Clever, right? The happening, it's a happening, called Create a Tree is a team effort between the city of Milan, Fiat, and the artist designer Fabio Novembre. Novembre says he's trying to unite trees and cars, two elements always vying for urban space, as a symbol of a new way of living. 
My advice is to stick a tree on your car and get free parking. This is my hero, Maurizio Paolini. You guys are not as cultured as I am. I can understand it. He's a great classical pianist. <laughs> but he lost a battle with uh, the air conditioner. Paulini told managers at the Siena concert hall where he was performing that uh, on Tuesday that despite record high temperatures, the conditioner would have to be shut off because it bothered him. He's a sensitive artist. He can't hear this air conditioning while he's playing. The packed audience had problems hearing the heat, hearing, uh, bearing the heat and humidity, but Polini appeared unperturbed as he played Beethoven, Schumann, and Chopin. Then somebody fainted, and the concert was suspended for an hour to allow paramedics to drag out the body. Polini ended up playing with the conditioner on at full blast. <laughs> so the ultra-sensitive Polini ended up agreeing to, tour in, uh, to turn the air conditioning on for a much cooler performance. That is the important news you need to know in travel and otherwise for the week. And next, we're going to have Pauline Frommer, one of the greatest travel experts in the United States of America today. Come right back.